we used to live in Montreal actually for six years yeah. and that would be the thing that we would do we'd go we'd find a coffee place somewhere where it was good I think that's where we first probably experienced hey there's good coffee out there yeah um, coffee and, dates oh wow we'd have coffee dates from I think that point in time which is probably about 15 years ago maybe yeah. maybe longer a little longer we yeah I think that's when we first discovered that coffee is great and it can be really good I graduated as a mechanical engineer uh, ended up working with an internet company and had a great great experience there um, well I guess I'm a musician um, yeah I, you're creative though well, this is perhaps this is why I think it fits you yeah and, and I think that coffee roasting appeals to, to both that that creative side and the analytical side um, there's there's engineering in terms of the science of what's going on and and there's also art in terms of the exploration of what should be possible with, mm -hmm. with the products you're working with yeah uh, and, and, and I like bringing those like, together you like fact finding and exploring new things and I think that really suits you too because you're always researching and thinking and looking up what how else can we make this better or how else can we roast something or how else what else is out there in a coffee bean that we can use and I think it's perfect for you I think a coffee shop can give you a sense of the community you're in mm -hmm. uh, the people who are coming in the the way it's put together coffee shops kind of are that community hub that, mm -hmm. that, that draw all the people together from, from every walk of life. When we just started, decided to do all this, we, um, a big part of my life has always been dancing. So another part of the kind of community atmosphere that we wanted at this roastery um, lent itself to the fact that I could keep doing my ballet classes. So we took on a space upstairs and um, besides renting it out and stuff, I thought, hey, I could probably do my ballet classes. And I've actually had people come in here during the time when the ballet was going to start. I'm like, oh, are you here for ballet? No, we were just here for coffee. Oh, well, and then they came and joined the whole hour ballet class. <laughs> and then I got them coffee. So <laughs> and it was very funny. When, when we finally realized that fresh roasted coffee was tasting better than anything else we had had, I think I, I was the one doing most of the driving around trying to find it. I was driving from Cambridge to Guelph and to Kitchener and to Dundas, sometimes into Toronto to try and find fresh roasted coffee. Sometimes I would think that they would have the coffee that I needed that day, whether it was from Ethiopia or in Costa Rica or Nicaragua or Guatemala. I'd show up and they wouldn't have it and I'd go driving to another place. Uh, because we were trying to explore different coffees and we wanted to get fresh coffee, that was becoming very arduous. Um, at some point in that process, I broke down and put a roaster into the basement, uh, started roasting coffee, because you can, you can buy green beans asynchronously from when you want to drink the coffee and, and if you're roasting it yourself. I think, I think that kind of set us on our path to this in a, yeah. in a clear way. You realized you enjoyed that <laughs> yeah. with the little roaster at home. So then you got a big roaster. And now I have a big roaster. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.